Okay, everybody. I hope you can hear me fine. And the lighting here is not too crazy. Hang on, let me check this. Oh, never mind. Okay. So if you've seen my Costco haul, I said I was going to show you how I dress up my sauce. So this is the good, it's a good base to start with. And I think you get the three jars for like less than eight. I don't want, don't quote me on that. Okay. Seven or eight, which, you know, uh, these can be like seven each at some stores. Of course, if you get decent one, this is organic. Okay. So what I did, it has already some spices and whatnot, but I love to add some Italian herbs to it. And then I did what you call, I don't know if you're familiar. Oh, guys, I hope the lighting is okay on here. I don't know why it got dark here all of a sudden. I hope the lighting is okay. So I took a big bunch of kale and I did what they call massage it, which you tear it from the thick stem. You tear that off unless you don't mind chewing on something like not so soft in your pasta. So I didn't keep the stem. I tore it off from there and then you tear it with your hands, just big chunks. And you, while you wash it, you do like this, literally massaging it. That takes off the bitterness, okay? Just a little bit, not too, too much. And then you just let it simmer here with your herbs, some garlic powder. Fresh is even better, but I didn't have any fresh, so I used the garlic powder. I add a little bit of Himalayan salt, which I shouldn't have now because I'm adding some artichoke hearts and some capers make it some bougie pasta <laughs> trust me all these little things in here add so much to the flavor my family's used to my uh, north african cooking which is rich in flavor as well as you know mexican cooking so we can't eat just plain old marinara on its own okay so there you have it so kale Herbs, uh, capers, artichoke hearts, uh, hearts. <laughs> artichoke hearts if you like them, capers, and just get creative, you know. Uh, you fresh basil in here would be good, and just even some veggies, like maybe the mini bell pepper, like the mini peppers, the sweet peppers or something, but we love how this comes out, you guys. Try it out. I hope you do, and if you do, let me know in the comments. This is the fastest cooking, quote-unquote cooking, ever video. All right. I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.